Okay, I'm here with Holly Lehman from the Azure Product Improvement Team under CXP. Okay, so it's a long name. It is, it <laughs> is. But so we're going to talk about feedback and how Microsoft gets all that feedback and what we are going to do with that feedback, right? Mm -hmm. So can you explain a little bit about about that, how we handle feedback at Microsoft? Yeah, so the one thing that I've loved about being at Microsoft is that we truly do care about what our partners and our customers are saying and how they're using our products and our services. And so not just within Azure, but across Microsoft, we have a variety of programs and opportunities to engage with the product team that I don't think everybody's aware of. And so I'm going to send you a link that will give all of our partners and customers opportunities to find out what these programs are, but they're leveraging anything from feedback to satisfaction, product improvement, ways that you can engage with the product team, find out things like roadmap. Everybody cares about roadmap, yeah. right? Education calls that happen monthly, on-site events, and all of these are here so that we can learn directly from the people that are using our technology on a daily basis. And yeah. I think it's really exciting. No, really. I mean, that's one thing I learned when I joined Microsoft is we really care about it. And it's not just a black hole where um, our feedback from our customer goes, right? However, that said, so if I'm a customer and I want to give feedback to different parts of Microsoft, what would be the parts you would actually go and, and give that feedback? So there's a few. There's a few different ways. And the one that I think is really exciting, and it's kind of uh, across Microsoft, uh, there's different terms for it. So some is called a customer advisory board. Some is called an insider program. Others are called customer connection program. But at the heart of it, it's basically their various teams or services that customers can go and say, I want to be a part of this. And it's a small community. And I say small, but some of them go into the thousands where you will work with one person and they will, between surveys, one-on-one, -on -one, on site events, they will go and speak with you and talk to you and do different education calls and you can tell people how you feel. Now, the piece that kind of makes my team really unique is we have automated a lot of the feedback that's already coming in through these various source programs. So like Pulse or CSAT or the customer connection program that we run and the partner program. And what we do is go through and look at all these feature requests and pieces of feature evidence, and we work directly with the product team to say, hey, here's what our customers and partners are actually saying. So we yeah. get to sit with them and share the voice of the customer and the partner. Yeah. So. I really like the part where you said, um, like we give this, like we build this kind of like community mm -hmm. to give feedback. I think that's very valuable where they can also um, talk to each other yep. about things, okay, they experienced uh, to figure out, okay, what would be, and even give solutions maybe or ideas how it could be even better, right? And not just have one view, but have these multiple views from different customers, right? So what I heard a lot is like, okay, so now we get this feedback in, you get it in your tools. What happens now? Like what, 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 are, what do customers need to expect? So it depends how they're leveraging it, right? And so what I learned when I was running a customer program, which I really enjoyed, was I can share that piece of feedback, but it might take a while because just one voice may not hold as much weight as many. So you have things like user voice, which you have thousands of people using it. Um, and so it kind of depends what the ask is, what the feature is, what the service is, what the product. I mean, there's so many things to consider. But after you can provide, I'll put a case behind it, um, our engineers go and they prioritize all of these ask and request. And the cool part is we get to put that into the next planning cycle based on what we're capturing. So even though, yeah, it can take a bit of time. Yeah. What I love is that Microsoft is not just listening, but they're hearing and they're providing avenues for us to then feed that back into the engineering team with a human behind it so that we can see people are out there using these services and we truly do want to make it better. And we're leveraging these opportunities to do that. Yeah. No, that's that's something also which I, I really like hear, hear a lot is um, what you just said. It's like a lot of sometimes it takes some time. Right. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean we don't listen. Sometimes it's just the way how our planning cycles work, how we do prioritize and how how things get processed. Um, obviously, like when I give feedback, I sometimes want you to like, can you have it in the next day? <laughs> right. um, but yeah, that's that's how how that works, right? Well, and it's it's a cleaner process. So like what you're saying, you want it the next day. Well, if we did everything the next day, it would be complete chaos. So yeah. within this very structured process, it might take a little bit longer, but we're looking at all the factors and then we're prioritizing based on use, 
customer story and feature evidence, if you will. And so it kind of streamlines what could be quite chaotic if we just went and jumped every time there was a customer ask. So we do ask for patience, but Microsoft is definitely listening. Okay, no, that's great. So what would you recommend to people like, okay, I wanna give feedback now, and you mentioned already a couple of different yeah. uh, programs and, and things like that, but uh, where would you go? I mean, we will put the links in the descriptions, but where would be the platforms you would like recommend for, especially like, let's say Azure related products as well, but also yeah. other products within Microsoft. So there's a few quick ways if you're not already in a program. So of course, because I do love my communities, I always advocate for go and join a community, go and find the community for the product or the service that you're most passionate about, but that can take some time. Um, so if you're looking for something immediate, I mean, we all are on Twitter. Um, you can always add the Azure um, support team. You yep. can add the product team. Um, or what, what is most helpful is going into user voice. Because with that, everybody has a voice. Everybody has a vote. You can either create a new ask or you can go and support an ask that's already there. So it's a user voice and Twitter. Those are kind of your let's just hurry up and go. Um, there's also Yammer. There's yep. various Yammer forums where you can find your specific product and go and add yourself to that as well. So, yeah. And within those, you actually have the product team and the support teams working and looking at those daily. And so you get to have a voice and you have someone actually reading and then engaging with you. Yeah, so. I think it's always like fun to see how close you actually get yeah. to the engineers who like create that product, right? Yeah, okay. I even get excited when they follow me or talk to me. I'm like, oh, this is my answer. And so that made me think this is what our customers want to feel too. Absolutely. So thank you very much, Holly. Uh, it was you. a pleasure to talk to you. Uh, I will put all the links and everything in the description. So if you want to give feedback for different products within Microsoft, um, you will find that in the description and see you in the next one.